Hey guys, Pimp Master here. What is a back kick for? Is it for kicking in the back or is it for kicking in the front? I say it's for kicking in the front. Why do they call it a back kick then? It's kind of weird. It's kind of, you're kicking in the back but you're kicking in the front. Let me tell you what I mean, okay? Now if somebody's coming up behind me, when I learned the back kick, we would do it from this position and we would glance over our shoulder and then we would kick. Then we would kick. Then we would kick. Okay, that's how we practiced it. But as I'm getting a little older and maybe a little bit wiser, if I'm glancing over my shoulder and some guy's coming at me, I want to turn around as quickly as I can. I don't want to waste my time trying to throw a kick in my back where he can just brush it out of the way and now he has my back. Right? I, I just wouldn't do that. I would turn around. If somebody's coming behind me, right, and I see him, I'm just going to turn around. I would rather face them. That's probably more instinctive anyways. I think it would be more, yeah, it's, it's, it's more, it's more instinctive and it's smarter and it's more effective. So is the back kick ineffective? I don't think it is, okay? I might not use it if someone was behind me, but there's a lot of cases where I would use it if someone was in front of me. Let me show you what I mean. So most of my back kicks are really fighting people in front of me. I don't want to fight someone behind me. And I don't think there's many instances where you're going to have to fight someone behind you. Because if someone's behind you, turn around. Face them. But with that said, if someone's in front of me and I miss a kick, then I want to throw a back kick. Or I might even throw that, I might even miss it, a harder kick and I end up all the way around. I might want to throw the spinning back kick from there, okay? So I'm throwing a back kick, spinning back kick, but I'm actually throwing at somebody in front of me, okay? That's where the back kick is so powerful, okay? The back kick doesn't get its power from that. The back kick gets the power from the spin. Because think of the discus thrower, that's where they get their power, right? They don't just throw the discus, they spin and then pop their hip into it. So their whole body weight goes into that discus throw. They don't just, they don't spin, stop, and then throw it. They use the momentum and torque of their spin to throw the discus. You do the same thing with the spinning back kick. You're not really spinning because spinning would be turning around like a spinning hook kick. With the spinning of the back kick, it's actually a turning back kick because you're turning around. You're not spinning, okay? So that's where the power comes from the turn and the torque. It's misleading when they call it a spinning back kick because you're not really spinning. So. The back kick in and of itself is a very effective strike. It's the most powerful kick in martial arts, without a doubt. You just see people dropping like crazy when it lands. Doesn't always land because you're turning and that kind of telegraphs a little. So you have to set it up really well, okay? And you have to, your timing has to be impeccable. But with that said, it's definitely worth the risk. The ROI, return on investment, is worth the risk because when it lands, it hurts. It hurts bad. It hurts really bad. I mean, it hurts bad, okay? And sometimes you never know. Somebody might, you might just hear someone behind you and you want to throw a quick back kick. I've never had to do that. I, I don't see many cases where it would have to be done, but it's there. But the reason we practice back kicks a lot in class is to get that motion going so when we turn we have a better spinning back kick so we do practice our back kicks 
from this position because we want to build up a better spinning back kick, okay? But that's what the back kick is for. And, uh, bang. Thanks for coming, guys. Comment, like, share.